look up, boys. Let's get him. Let's get him. Please, no flare. No flare. He, Bing. He, no flare. One. Bing. Two. Bong. Three. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine being an F5 or an A10 player and just being dumb enough to not see missiles and just not flare. How do you be that fucking stupid? It's honestly... How to F104G Step 1 Up Step 2 Down 5 We tickle him with missile I mean I actually We're quite high up I'm going mock so it should still hit Neo. Don't flare Does he flare? He flares Okay well never mind Oh Fuck okay, okay. <laughs> thousand dollars to fire this weapon for 12 seconds what what how hey everyone wolf is here in this video, I kind of want to talk about two different things. For one, I want to talk about the German F-104G, and two, I want to talk about the current 10.7 matchmaker. Because, oh man, the current 10.7 matchmaker is very, very interesting. So first, the F-104G. More specifically, the German F-104G. I want to make it very clear, this entire video is going to be about the German F-104G. In case you don't know, there's actually three F-104Gs in this game. There is the Italian one, there is the German one, and then there is the one in the Chinese tech tree. The thing is just that both the one in the Chinese tech tree as well as the Italian tech tree get either less missiles or they get absolutely no countermeasures. Now don't worry though, of course, because those jets are slightly worse, Gaijin has decided to keep them at exactly the same BR of 10.7. Why? Well, simply because, um, be uh, the German F-104G is rather interesting. On paper, it's quite a bad plane for this BR. And when I say that, I don't mean that it's worse in every single way than other aircraft, except that I mean that it's worse than other aircraft in every single way. Uh, what? Huh? To give you the TLDR, the F-104G is very good at three things, and three things only. It has a good climb rate, it has a good top speed, and it has very good energy retention. Everything else about this aircraft is just rather mid. And that's simply because the F-104G has a turn radius that's about equal to the circumference of the Earth. This thing does not turn. As a result, despite having great energy retention and having a very good roll rate, you are not going to turn fight anyone, and you are also not going to scissor fight, you're not going to energy fight, you're not going to do any kind of dogfight. To add insult to injury, the F-104G gets a Vulcan, and although the Vulcan does fire 6,000 rounds per minute, that is completely irrelevant given the fact that those 6,000 rounds do absolutely fucking nothing to the enemy plane. Honestly, if you were to get a piece of paper out and write down stuff that would make an aircraft a bad dogfighter and then put all those things into one airframe, you end up with the F-104G. It's just not a good 1v1 dogfighting aircraft. But to be fair, that's kind of to be expected. Because again, the F-104 was designed as a interceptor. It was designed to be very fucking fast. And it is. The F-104G at 10.7 is a very fast aircraft. The problem is just that it's not fast enough. And what I mean by that is that if you up-tier this aircraft to literally any BR slightly higher than 10.7, you're going to be caught by aircraft that are faster than you. And I don't mean you're going to be caught by a handful of airplanes that you might see every once or twice in the enemy team. No, you're going to be caught by virtually every single aircraft. Because at 11.0 and especially at 11.3 and 11.7, there are plenty of aircraft that are either capable of keeping up with you or faster than you in a straight line. And the problem is, they're not just faster than you, they also carry more missiles, they have a better turn time, they are just overall better aircraft. So with that said, I guess it's fairly easy to conclude that the F-104G is a bad plane, right? No. <laughs> no, 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 it is not a bad plane. <laughs> 
Remember how I said the F-104G is bad on paper? Well, as it turns out, that's literally only true on paper. In reality, this thing goes hard. It is extremely powerful. You see, the F-104G is one of those aircraft that's not really compatible with the current implementation of Gaiden's BR system. Yes, in an up tier, this aircraft is completely power crept into oblivion. But in a down tier, this thing is completely untouchable. Granted, it's not an F-5C, you still have to play the F-104 like an F-104. You should climb and then dive back down on top of unsuspecting enemies. But if you do that, this aircraft is just Mwah, it is so extremely good. And when I say good, I don't mean it's enjoyable to fly. I mean that it's objectively good. If you look at my statistics, you'll see that I have a 65% win rate as well as a KD that's almost equal to three. And if you keep in mind that I'm a fairly average War Thunder player, that's just an insanely good stat card. However, as you might recall from the beginning of this video, I wanted to talk about the current state of the 10.7 matchmaker. And I think it's time that I do that right now, because I want to make it very clear that the only reason I have such a good stat card in the F-104G at the moment is because I'm getting constant down tiers. Now I assume that this is only a temporary thing, because quite frankly it seems like everyone is playing the F-16 and as a result of that everything from 11.0 to 12.0 is just sucked into one giant black hole. And that basically leaves 10.7 as a second top tier, if you will. It's another BR where you really can't go any higher. Ah, uh, well, that's not entirely true. You will still see some 11.0 and some 11.3 aircraft, but it's usually only a handful, because in most cases you're being down tiered to 10.0 or 10.3, and then there's also some 11.0 slash 11.3 aircraft that are being down tiered, so there's usually only like 2, 3, maybe 4 of them. And I want to mention that most of the time that you do see 11.0 slash 11.3 aircraft, they're actually on your team. I don't know what's going on with Germany 10.7, but I'm virtually exclusively fighting US 10.0 slash 10.3. Ha! Huh. I wonder why that is. In any case, it's not just true that the down tiers are making the F-104G good, it's also that the aircraft you're facing in down tiers are just usually not that good in terms of flight performance. In fact, most aircraft in down tiers are going to be ground attackers. And what's interesting about that is that most of those ground attackers will be flying around the deck. They won't be higher than two, three kilometers at most. As a result, Basically, no one on the enemy team will be looking up for an enemy aircraft. And when you are that one enemy aircraft who is going to come in from the sky, they won't see you coming. And that effectively just makes this plane extremely good right now. It's just very, very lucky given the current matchmaker. So yeah, if you're one of the weirdos that actually grinded out the German tech tree, then for one, congratulations, you wasted your time. But two, well, you might actually have something to play now, because the F-104G at 10.7 is currently quite fun. If you previously grinded this out and haven't flown it yet, or perhaps if you're waiting for a good time to spade this aircraft, then now's the time. Is it the absolute best 10.7 aircraft? No, not really. Is it a lot of fun to smite A6s and A10s from space after they've been killing you with 9Ls for such a long time? Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty rewarding to finally give those suckers something back. You know, you 9L me the whole time, and now I finally get to 9J you without you even noticing? Oh, mmm, that is some sweet, sweet revenge. Go seal club some A10s and some A6s. Go play the F104G. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.